what's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. As I said yesterday, was the day going to be Diaz day? Certainly was. We left it very late, 9.15pm in fact, but Ruben Diaz, he is now a Manchester City player. Are Man City done in the market? Hearing on the grapevine, no. Very interesting. Stay tuned to that. But before we crack on with this video, make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content, you want to help support my channel, then subscribe. Press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. Aiming for 14,000 subscribers. We're on the march towards that. At the time of recording this video, we're now less than 700 subscribers away. I want to hit that by the time deadline day passes. That exact day, October 5th. I think it's five days from now. Any help towards that will be much appreciated. It's a long ask, but I'm confident we can get that done with plenty more Manchester City transfer news still to come. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Subscribe. It is free. Don't forget also social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video ambitious we're aiming for 600 likes any help towards that would be much appreciated too and also let me know your thoughts in the comments below as i'm always interested in what you do have to say but before i crack on this video i just wanted to welcome the latest jsgc member daryl morton your support is much appreciated by me to support the future of this jsgc channel absolute legend so a shout out to you you got access to custom stickers emojis as well as priority access to some of my videos as well so thank you very much for that if you want to become a member of the jsgc channel then all you need to do is press that join button next to the subscribe button and so we're going to crack on with this video we're going to start off with the outs first and we've got an update on nicholas otamendi who sadly now is no longer a Manchester City player. Now, Ojogo in Portugal yesterday were reporting Man City, in per part of this uh, deal that uh, sees Nicolas Otamendi join Benfica, uh, were paying Otamendi €4 million Euros per year for the next two years towards his wage. He's going to be on €6 million Euros per year um, at Benfica. So City's going to be contributing €4 million for this uh, upcoming season and the season after. So Benfica's going to be paying €2 million this year, €2 million next year, and then the full £6 million for his final year of his contract. He has signed on a three-year deal for Benfica. So basically what that means, of this €15 million Euros that we've received uh, in the transfer fee from Benfica for Otamendi, we're paying €8 million of that, €8 million Euros of that right towards his wages and then 2 million euros of course in a bonus which seen him leave Manchester City as well so 10 million euros it's costing us for Otamendi to leave and we'll receive 15 million euros from Benfica uh, for the fee for Otamendi to go there so we've profited 5 million pounds which will take that off the Diaz transfer which is 68 million pounds uh, which means the deal takes us towards 63 million pounds which makes the transfer a little bit more expensive than what we originally thought but it's the price City want to pay uh, a player is only valued at what a club is willing to pay and Ruben Diaz he's now a Manchester City player breaking Manchester City's transfer record is now City's most expensive signing and as part of that Nicolas Otamendi has headed to Benfica that was announced by them last night with a presentation there so it's official Otamendi no longer a Manchester City player he has joined Benfica signing on a three-year deal for 15 million euros Thank you very much for your services at Manchester City, Nico. Good luck, best of luck in Lisbon as well and wishing you all the best in the future. I'm a little bit sad. His season during the 17-18 season was exceptional. And so, to the general, we salute you. Have a, have a great time uh, in Lisbon. Now, uh, update on Eric Garcia. He could well be Manchester City's next player to leave. However, Martin Blackburn has confirmed that Manchester City are not interested in taking Rafinha as a direct swap for Eric Garcia with no cash. City aren't interested in that, they want just cash. Apparently, we were saying yesterday that uh, Barcelona have gone back to the 12 million euros that they're willing to pay for Eric Garcia. Apparently, now that price has gone up, they're willing to pay 15 million euros plus some bonuses included in that deal as well. Barcelona want that deal done, Eric Garcia wants that deal done, and apparently, City are hoping to to try and get a deal sorted for Eric Garcia to leave. Now we've brought Ruben Diaz in, there's no reason why if Barcelona pay an amount that City are happy with that he would join them before transfer deadline day. Watch this space on that Eric Garcia transfer. And speaking of Barcelona, moves us nicely onto Oleksandr Zinchenko. Sources at Barcelona are saying that actually they are looking at the possibility of possibly bringing in Zinchenko before deadline day 
on loan. They like that he's versatile, it's a cheap option for them, so they're considering him. They're considering him a good player, a good squad player for them, so they're interested in bringing him in. Now, City want to sign a left-back, and we'll speak about that in just one moment. Zinchenko first must leave. Whether that be permanent or on loan remains to be seen. If he leaves out on loan, though, still going to be unregistered as a City player in the Premier League and in our competitions. We're a player down, we would need a left-back, so we'll wait to see what happens there. Apparently, Zinchenko has got offers from elsewhere. So we'll wait and see what happens with Zinchenko, hoping to get some clarification on his future in the next uh, day or two and then move on from there as to whether City will go and sign a left-back or not. Now, moving on to the end, we've got an update on a player we've not spoke about in the last month or so. It comes in the form of Diane Mabude. He's the youngster from Rangers, 16-year-old forward. He has now signed for Manchester City. He will join up with the Youth Academy. So I'm going to presume this is going to be the under-18 squad, considering he is now 16 years old. Uh, but it's official, Manchester City have signed him for a fee. This is according to the Glasgow Times, reliable sources with stuff at Rangers. Uh, no number mentioned on how much that fee is so no compensation Man City have agreed to pay um, Rangers and they'll call them Glasgow Ranger Fellas so they changed the name and stuff let's well, so get into the politics of football but Rangers we've paid them a fee for Mabude I'm wondering now if he's now on a professional contract at City or not I don't know I presume at 16 years old probably not but will be promised to be made professional when he turns 17 well, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I'll keep an eye on his development. The best of luck to Dyer on joining Manchester City. And welcome to Manchester City. Now, moving on. Uh, we've got a new name. Comes in the form of Nicholas Tagliafico. Strap yourselves in, everyone. Left back for Ajax. 28 years old. Argentinian. Five foot seven, not the most physical, not the most tall, uh, not the tallest player either, but a very technically gifted player nonetheless. No price has been mentioned. Apparently, Chelsea were being linked with his signature um, a couple of months back, and twenty million pounds was mentioned. I don't know how much Ajax want for him now, but the Telegraph have been reporting that sh uh, if Zinchenko was to leave in this transfer window, then Manchester City could make a move for a left back. Now, Jack Gorhan, uh, I think, works for the Daily Mail, has confirmed that Manchester City are looking at left. Backs. And that is before the deadline on Monday. City are working on it. A move does depend on Zinchenko leaving, but it does confirm uh, Jack Gorhan that uh, Tagliafico is a target for Manchester City and David Alaba is also being considered as well, which moves us on to an update on David Alaba. Now, on the news that City are in the market for a left-back, Bayern uh, via Bild have come out and said that they will not be selling David Alaba this summer for any price. They will risk losing him for free next summer because his contract is up in the summer of 2021. Any foreign club outside of Germany can speak with and agree a pre-contract agreement with David Alaba from January. The same situation as with Lionel Messi. So I'm wondering if City did want David Alaba and was willing to meet his high wage demands, how much would it cost then to tempt Bayern away? Previously quoted 30 to 40 million euros. Should City go as high as towards 40 million euros for a player of David Alaba's quality, in my opinion, that isn't too expensive, may that tempt them then to sell? Remains to be seen. But this left-back situation is warming up. I will have a video out later on today having a look at some left-backs that City could target before transfer deadline day. So stay tuned for that video. Now moving on to our final story. Ruben Diaz, he is a Manchester City player. It is, it is official. Official? It is official. 9.15pm British summertime yesterday, Manchester City announced the signing of Ruben Diaz for £64.3 million. A club record signing. Nicholas Otamendi confirmed has gone the other way as we've already spoken about. But Ruben Diaz, he's a Manchester City player. He signed on a six-year contract. Listening to his interview can speak crystal clear English. I was wondering if he could speak English or not. He can speak crystal clear English. Communication and everything should be good for him to hit the ground running. Considering he's been to the Etihad Stadium, he's been speaking with the press and speaking with Manchester City and everything, and uh, he's obviously come out of his hotel room, I presume he does not have to isolate and therefore should be starting his first day as an official Manchester City player today. I'm not sure if he'll be ready for selection for today's game, or tonight's game, should I say, against Burnley. Why would you risk such a player? But may he be available for that match against Leeds? That remains to be seen. I'm very excited about that. Welcome, Ruben. I'm really really happy that the weather is rubbish in Manchester so he can have a nice warm Manchester welcome to his new club. But the best of luck to him at Manchester City. Delighted with the signing. Might there be one more with a left back? I'll keep you up to date with that 
every step of the way from now until transfer deadline day. Daily Manchester City transfer updates. You want to stay in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news and make sure you subscribe. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. On the march to 14,000 subscribers. Can we do it before deadline day? 58% of you that watch my videos over the last 28 days are not subscribed. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, aiming for 600 likes. So any help towards that, again, would be much appreciated by me. Social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business enquiries. And lastly, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Alaba, Tagliafico... Who do you want? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget also, welcome Ruben Diaz to Manchester City. We've done an official welcome video that I put out yesterday at 9.15pm when it was announced. Some people asking have I pre-recorded it. No comment. <laughs> Go and check that out if you haven't already. I'll uh, have that up at the end of this video if you want to go and click on that. And I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next Daily Manchester City transfer update. Or stay tuned later on for that left-back video as well. If you want to go and check that out with more Manchester City transfer news and JSGC videos and stuff. Thank you everyone for the continued support. Hope everyone is safe and well. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you all again for that left-back video. If not, see you tomorrow for the next Daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Peace. Ciao.